Steve Perry. His full name is Stephen Ray Perry. He was born on January 22nd, 1949. He is an American singer and songwriter. He is best known as the lead singer of the rock band Journey during their most commercially successful periods from 1977 to 1987, and again from 1995 to 1998. His zodiac sign is Aquarius. His height is 1.71 meters, and his weight is 80 kilograms. He was born in Hanford, California. If you're enjoying these videos, please remember to hit that like button. It helps us out a lot. And comment down below which celebrity you want to see in an upcoming video. Early Life Steve was born to Ray Perry, vocalist and owner of radio station KNGS, and his wife Mary Perry. His family was of Portuguese descent, which helped him acquire fluency in both English and Portuguese. His family moved to Lemoore, California, where he attended the local high school and actively participated in the school's marching band, as well as other bands. In his early days, he carried out his musical endeavors by joining with like-minded friends and groups and giving performances in the local barbershop quartet. The Sullys was the most known out of all of them, and in the band he played drums and sang. It also won the Battle of the Bands in Calaveras, outshining 80 other bands. He attended College of the Sequoias in Visalia, California, where he was the first tenor in their choir. Although he did not complete his formal education, the musician with him overshadowed his other attributes. In his early 20s, he moved to Sacramento, where he started a band Ice with a 16-year-old Scott Matthews. However, it soon got disbanded due to inadequate supervision and inefficient management. Career on October 28, 1977, he made his public debut with Journey in San Francisco. The band soon moved to mainstream rock with Perry on their side, and released the first album with them, Infinity, which led to substantial increase in sales. It included his self-composed song Lights, which became an instantaneous chart buster. In 1979, Evolution was released, and it too became a huge seller. In the following year, Escape was released, packed with hits such as Don't Stop Believing. It became the band's best-selling album, selling more than 7 million copies. One of their top-selling albums, Frontiers, was released. In the same year, Journey undertook an extensive tour to fund its recordings. Following this, Perry released his first solo album, Street Talk, which included included his first biggest hit as a solo artist, Oh Sherry. A series of unfortunate events compelled him to leave Journey unofficially in 1986. Thereafter, he took a seven-year break from the music industry. He reunited with Journey in 1996 for Trial by Fire, which was a huge success. However, due to a hip injury, he couldn't continue any longer with the band. In 1998, he released a solo compilation album, which included an original Alien Project demo. In 2005, he did many background vocals and covers, along with Ambrosia's lead vocalist, David Pack. In late 2006, Perry's two solo projects, Street Talk and For the Love of Strange Medicine, and his greatest hit CD were remastered and re-released. On April 7th, 2017, Perry appeared alongside his Journey X bandmates for the first time since 2005 at the band's induction into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. On December 17th, 2018, Perry released a cover of Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas. In April of 2019, Perry released a deluxe version of the album Traces, along with his first official music video in over 25 years. Perry then released a three-song holiday EP on October 31st, 2019. Relationships He is currently single. Perry used to be in a relationship with Sherry Strawford during the 80s. Lifestyle his net worth is $60 million. He has a house in Del Mar, California. Fun Facts His 1984 music video Foolish Heart does not have a single editorial cut. He has shown a good deal of interest in cattle and dairy farming. He was nicknamed The Voice by John Bon Jovi in the 80s.